Hey, how you doing, Lavering Success family? Welcome to another installment of Lavering Success with me, founder and creator Festus Amoye. What to do was put together a series about the differences between formal and informal education. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, man, this is a really simple topic. Uh, there's no real reason to cover it or go into detail about it. But however, with a lot of the debate that's happening right now about public education versus private education versus, um, you know, how public funds are being spent on education and also, you know, charter schools and different kind of things like that, um, it kind of plays a big impact. And, and especially when you think about the standards that um, some colleges and uh, places of higher education are using for their students while other colleges are not using those same standards. So you can graduate from one place and end up with a much better job than from another place. But that a lot of that plays into networking and things like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Uh, today, we're just gonna kind of lay the foundation for what we're gonna talk about. And then um, in latter videos, we'll go ahead and, and get into it. So uh, the first thing that we wanna get into is uh, what is formal education and what is informal education? Well, it's kind of, uh, kind of close to self-explanatory, but usually formal education has four parts to it. Uh, those four parts are usually that you're usually learning from an accredited individual or an accredited institution. So that means the individual is certified, licensed, or degreed, and the institution itself is accredited. Um, it's gone through some kind of accreditation process uh, or something to that effect. <clears throat> Next, uh, in formal education, usually you have a very rigorous curriculum. So the rigorous curriculum means that the curriculum was not put together uh, usually by one individual. It was usually put together by a variety of in individuals. And if you uh, have read any of the Work and Ladder Success, a curriculum is basically um, the stages or the process by which you're gonna learn. So they start off at one particular point and they try to get to another particular point by the end of that curriculum. Then um, after that, um, usually there's a lot of theory involved. So there's a way of thinking and that's usually embedded within the curriculum. So the, the theory, uh, for example, uh, you've probably heard of things like Einstein's theory of relativity or you've heard of um, different economic theories like the Keynesian economic theories or principles. And those different principles are really embedded within the curriculum. So as you go through each lesson or each module, you're learning something new about that theory or that way of thinking. Um, and then finally, uh, usually there's a cost associated with it. And so um, with formal education, uh, you got to pay the big bucks. And that's because it takes uh, time and energy to put together the theory to get the accreditation. And usually, you know, you got fancy buildings and that's what makes it formal. There's a set time you have to be there. There's a set time of leaving. And usually the onus is on the student to do a lot of the learning. Next, we'll talk about informal education. Now, informal education is very different. It usually comes in the form of guidance or advice or wisdom that's being given from maybe a family member or a friend or somebody who maybe you met on the street and they're just sharing something that they learned through life uh, with you. Uh, next, uh, informal education is very intermittent. Uh, usually uh, intermittent means that, um, that basically it's broken up or chopped up. There's no real set schedule. And so uh, sometimes you can't get as much uh, learning done uh, in informal, uh, intermittent education. And usually it's self-taught or self-paced, right? With a curriculum, um, you're going to have a lesson, you're gonna have a module, you're gonna learn something, and then after that lesson or module, you're gonna be tested to see if you've learned that lesson. 
um, in an informal education, that's not the case. Someone might share a piece of wisdom with you or a piece of advice with you. And, you know, it's either it's completely up to you whether you take it or not, whether you use it or not. Uh, and finally, uh, usually a lot of times with informal ed education, the information is very practical. It's about you putting it to use today. And so um, that's pretty much the, the, the foundation for informal education um, and formal education and uh, some of the differences between those. Uh, we're going to have a couple more videos talking about the pros and cons. Uh, we're going to have another uh, videos uh, basically talking about um, why you need a blended variety in terms of education. And um, we're going to kind of go from there. So please join us for another episode. If you like it, please hit the like button. If you really like it, hit the share button. And if you think this is really phenomenal and that it has application for other people, tag them in the video. After you watch it, tag their name in it. And, and then, um, so then that way they can watch it too. Thank you for joining Vesta Samoye with Ladder and Success. <laughs>